Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Sign Now. I'm going to cover a very quick, basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Sign Now works. So, if you have no idea about Sign Now and how to get started, then this video is for you. Sign Now is an electronic signature software that enables you to sign, send, and manage documents from any device, anywhere, and at any time. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the step by step process of using Sign Now. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and jump right into the Sign Now tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account. And if you already have an account, just skip this step and let's sign in. So, here we are in my Sign Now account. First, I'll show you what you can actually find in Sign Now, and then I'll show you how we can use Sign Now. So, after logging in to your Sign Now account, you will be taken to the dashboard where you can easily navigate through the different sections. On the left side of the dashboard, you will find the Upload or Create button, Quick Access, Documents, Archive, Templates, Trash, Contacts, My Teams, Create Organization, and more. On the right side of the dashboard, there is a New Folder and a Bulk Archive icon. The Upload or Create section is where you can upload your documents to be signed. The Quick Access section provides an overview of the documents that are waiting for you and for others. Here you can also view signed documents, check documents and drafts in your favorites, and view documents that are expiring soon. The Documents section is where you can find all the documents you have uploaded, including signed and waiting documents. The Archive section contains documents that have been completed or are no longer needed. The template section contains all your saved document templates, while the Trash section contains all the documents that you have deleted. In the Contact section, every time you exchange documents with someone, they will be automatically added to your contacts or you can also add contacts manually, and you will be able to keep track of all sent and received documents for each contact individually. The My Team section displays a list of teams that you are managing or are a part of. You can join and create several teams, invite other people, share documents, and templates between team members. Next, in the Create Organization section, you can view your current membership roles and a list of the organizations you're managing. Finally, using the Sign Now API, developers can seamlessly integrate electronic signature workflows with other software products. Equipped with detailed documentation, the Sign Now API ensures a smooth and hassle free experience when implementing e signature processes in your app, website, CRM, or cloud storage. What's more, it's possible to test the Sign Now API for free in a sandbox environment. To add your full name, signature, and initials in Sign Now, first navigate to the Profile section in the top right corner of the screen and click on it. Then select My Account. Go to your User Profile page. Here, click on Plus Add Full Name, Signature, and Initials. A pop-up window will appear where you can enter your first and last name. Once you have entered your full name, your signature and initials will appear. If you are satisfied with them, simply click on the Save button. If you want to change your signature or initials, you can do so by clicking on the Change button next to each of them. This will open a new window showing you different styles of your signature or initials. Choose the one you like and then click on Save. Once you have made changes to your signature and initials, click on Save to save your full name, signature, and initials. In addition, if you want to add a default stamp, you can easily do so by clicking on the plus add stamp button. Then upload the image of the stamp from your computer. Once you have uploaded the stamp, click on the save button. This will add the stamp to your account and make it available for use in your documents. Now to sign a document with Sign Now, first you need to upload the document to the platform. You can upload your document by hovering over the Upload or Create button on the top left corner of the screen. You can either upload the document from your computer, import it from cloud storage, import it via URL, or add it from the library. Once you have uploaded the document, it will open in the editor. A pop-up window will appear asking you to set up recipients who need to fill out, sign, or view the document. 
to add a recipient, enter their full name and email address. If you want to add more than one recipient, click on the Add Recipient button. If you want to notify a recipient, simply write their email in the box under CC Recipients. After you've added the recipients, click on the Save and Continue button. On the left side of the document, you will see different fields such as Signature, Text, Date, and Time, Initials, etc. First, you need to select who will be filling out. For example, I'll choose John. Now, to add a signature to your document, drag the signature field to your document and place it where you want it. You can also add more fields if needed. When you drag a field to your document, the right panel will open for that field. Here, in the right panel, you can customize that field further. If you want to sign a document, just select yourself, then select your signature. You can also add a new one, then click Sign. Like I said, I'll choose John for this example. Once you have added all the necessary fields to your document, navigate to the top right corner and click on Continue. Your document will be saved and another window will open. Here, navigate to the Send Invite button at the bottom and click on it. You have now successfully sent your document to the recipients for signature. Sign now offers the convenience of integrating with other apps that you use regularly. Integrating Sign Now with other apps means that you can add Sign Now's functionality to them, allowing you to streamline your workflow. You can integrate Sign Now with several apps such as Google Workspace, Google Drive, Microsoft 365, Microsoft Teams, and more. To integrate Sign Now into other apps, navigate to the My Teams section on the left navigation panel and select Integrations from the left menu. On the integration page, you can see all the available integration apps categorized according to their function, such as file storage, communication, automation apps, office tools, and CRM systems. You can search for a specific app in the search box or browse through the available apps. Once you find your desired app, click on it to install it for your SignNow account. For example, if you want to integrate SignNow with Google Docs, hover over Google Docs and click on the Install button. This will take you to your Google Workspace and give you the option to install SignNow for Google Docs. Simply click on the Install button and you have successfully integrated SignNow with Google Docs. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using SignNow. There are more things to learn about SignNow, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.